Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni. Christine is here with me today, and we are going to do a little shoulder girdle dance. Uh, this is something that is featured on Tom McCook's workshop on our site called Shoulder and Spine, and it is just such a wonderful, simple sequence that you can do with your clients that is really teaching them the birthright movement of their shoulder girdle and how it communicates with their rib cage and with their spine. And Tom, he does such a beautiful job of building and layering the work throughout the workshop. So at first, there are these really small, simple articulations. And I say simple, and a lot of your clients, they're not, they, it's a down training for a lot of people. And it's gonna be hard for them to isolate these simple movements. But they're so important because if someone cannot isolate moving their shoulder blade around their still rib cage, for example, then that's gonna cause so many other problems all throughout the system. And then Tom takes that and he layers it into all these more um, complicated exercises. So it's really just a pleasure to watch and you'll get so, so much that you can keep using. And you'll want to keep going back to that video and keep watching it so you can get more and more stuff. All right. So with Christine, we're just going to do a simple up and down of the shoulder blades. So this is elevation depression. So on the inhale, she's going to elevate her shoulders up towards her ears. And then for the depression, I just want her to gently melt the shoulder blades down without a lot of force. So she feels like she comes into more of a neutral placement. That was great. Do that one more time. Inhale. And then she comes down, sliding, melting like ice cream, coming into your neutral placement. So even that, you will see a lot of weird things with your clients, especially because so many of us are so tight in our upper traps. And I don't want to blame this on yoga at all, but sometimes you see this, that, so go up, and this is the not so good version, where people, all, they pinch their shoulder blades together and slam their shoulder blades down. And that's what we want to kind of avoid. Okay, so now let's look at the um, protraction, retraction, just from the simple internal external rotation of our arm bone. So if she internally rotates her arm bone, then that naturally brings the, the shoulder blade into protraction. And when she externally rotates, that gently brings the shoulder blade back into retraction and back into more of a neutral placement if you're going for that on the back of the rib cage. So do that a few more times. So what we're also watching here is that she gets that Goldilocks right amount of movement where the rib cage, the rest of the spine and the pelvis, don't have to participate. Yes, so we're getting this kind of soaping <laughs> of the scapula around this beautiful billowy rib cage. Great. Now, a harder one to do is if we bring the arm up so the wrist is in line with the, the um, shoulder. I want her to think of the collarbone and shoulder blade as partners. And so she's going to reach the arm forward from the collarbone and the shoulder blade. Good. And then she's going to reach the arm back from the movement of the collarbone and the shoulder blade. Do that a few more times. So that's protraction. And then she brings the collarbone and shoulder blade back, and that's a retraction. Do that a couple more times, and you're doing great. Keep standing on that left leg and foot. And Christine is doing a wonderful job. So I want her to do the not-so-good version as she reaches forward. And it's this kind of distraction of the arm out of the socket. So you can still protract and think about the opposition of the arm bone right, the humerus, still hugging into the arm socket as the hand reaches away. Good. And then do the, the optimal version as you move forward. So she's protracting, right, the shoulder blade is still moving down and around, but she's still keeping that sense of hugging the arm into its socket as the collarbone and shoulder blade move forward. Good. And she can also bully her way back. So if she does too much retraction, right, then she's doing it really all from the arm bone and her arm bone is really bullying what's happening with the collarbone and the shoulder blade. Good, and come back to a neutral and gently rest down. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.